today I'm about to show you the tattoos I've got on my chest and I will have the help of this wonderful magic wand I will trace all of the tattoos I've got on my chest starting by this howl as you can see it has some huge yellow eyes and you can notice the white dot in the center of each eye it's one of the only place in my whole body where I have white as ink through 
with so much pain. I was sweating. I was dripping. And I saw that he was too. Because he had some empathy for me. So if we go down a little bit, we can notice the clouds. Pointy clouds of the owl. Once again, a lot of lines. And the pointy clothes. One, two, three. One, two, three. It took us three, maybe four sessions to complete the full howl. First session, we did only the lines on all of these areas of my body. For the second session, it is a color on the face, and I'm pretty sure I did the mirror, but it's a tattoo that is maybe seven years old, so I can't really remember. I was focused on the pain. The third session, he completed the wings. And the fourth one, I'm pretty sure it works all over it too. And it. So my owl holding his hand a mirror. Because I thought it I thought it was cool at the moment. And when we talk with my tattoo artist, we thought that an owl by itself would be a bit sad, would be a bit empty. So we had to add something in the middle and an owl in a way is a part of your soul and your soul you can can reflect in a mirror so it was kind of philosophical at the time the, the mirror is broken because broken mirror are cool initially I wanted to have Kaebora Kaebora which is the owl, the annoying owl you can find in Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. He always gives you advice even when you don't want them. But it was too complicated for, for my tattoo artist to add both of his face, because you know, he has a face upside down in this tiny area. So we just went with the simple owl. Fun fact, there is no white ink in it. It's only my original skin color that you can see here. Because originally I'm pale, I'm really pale. And here as well. So there are no traces of white ink here. It's just my raw skin. See the handle of the mirror here. It's like a baroque mirror. I don't know if it looks like an, a hat, an upside down hat. Mm. Having a bird on your chest is cool because the wings can spread on your chest from both sides. So it's great because it's symmetric, it's, it takes all of your chest easily. I won't talk about this monkey hand and this toad um, hand as well <laughs> because it's on the sides of my body but if you want me to do some more videos about my tattoos where I trace them 
you can just ask me in the comments and I might do them for you. But my chest is not, is not completed yet. When I have done the, the owl for the first time, I still had my belly white and I was looking for something to do on the belly. Then I went to another tattoo artist who is specialized with geometrical pattern and we have decided to do triangles. Originally there were only black triangles. This was empty. This was empty. This was empty. This was empty. But for my second layer, I decided to add some more colors. So we fill the blank with black and gray, and I think it's more complete. And as you can see, I had my belly button removed as well, because it's just like for the nipples. I wanted to offer a smoother surface to tattoo to cover for my tattoo artist. It's easier for them if you don't have any gaps. lines goes way beyond my trother but I won't tell you more sorry you can find much more pictures on the internet this cloud was difficult to enter because it's on the side and the sides are two of the worst parts to get tattooed because it's kind of close to your guts so it's really uncomfortable and it's really difficult there are a lot of pain that you can feel just because the skin is especially thin so the sides are difficult the front chest is difficult all of the area around your collar bones are difficult. Basically, it's difficult everywhere. <laughs> Sorry guys. and start the second layer on my upper chest. I'm looking for ideas, but eventually this area will get completely covered. Twice, three times, four times maybe. Wait and see. Especially here, 
on my left arm and on the top of my shoulder. And a little bit here on the right shoulder. my magic wand. Tell me in the comments. Having an area cover with geometrical pattern like triangle, lines, square is a really convenient way. It's, it's a really convenient way to fill a full area. When the space is tricky because and the monkey leg it was difficult to add a, a drawing that would make sense so having this pattern helps Tell me in the comments and I'll do something.
some more for you. After all, I'm the most tattooed teacher in the world, so I can do the same for my arms, for my legs, for my back, for my head. Please let me know in the comment below, and I'll do it. Bye.